They will hump your leg, they will squat and pee, oh, they are not for me, they'll snarl and bite. You wait and see, don't bring those puppies around by me, now you can give your money to any charity, but don't bring those puppies around by me, don't bring those puppies around. Yeah. You know why dogs lick their own balls? Because they can't. Yeah. Because, no, because they can't form because a fist with their paw. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Ooh. We will all lick our balls. I thought, I thought that was a different joke. That's right, exactly. We all right. Okay. Neither are we. So you like dogs? <laughs> no, no, no. Someone was convinced that you said lick my balls. No, the no. dogs. The dogs, dogs, dogs lick their balls. Yeah. The it's puppies lick their balls. Because they, they can't. So there's a they can't form form of the balls going over your stomach. So no one's thinking about it's a dog. The puppies. Yeah, the puppies. There's balls being licked. Yeah. Somewhere tonight. They lick their. They eat their garbage and they lick their balls. They eat their garbage and they lick their balls. Yeah, yeah there's the, the, the dogs do. The dog, <laughs> dogs. You've never seen a dog do that? I don't sing about it. You never seen a dog lick their balls? I don't sing about it. Well, <laughs> it's, it's the same puppy song. It's, it's about dog bad behavior, and it kind of fits the song pretty well. It's just a laugh. It gets a laugh every time. So we're 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 here correct. Yeah. I mean, so far in Ohio, it's been allowed. I don't know. I haven't had any problems. Okay, it got pulled off YouTube. It's a sick crowd. <laughs> I, I have some more interesting things from that. <laughs> I didn't think the line I was that crazy. Ringleader. I've seen dogs lick their balls. I've seen yes. them do it. Yeah, you're the ringleader. It's him. Yeah. Why don't I kill you? It's a talker. There's nobody's a ringleader. Yeah. Yeah. The ball yeah. licking. <laughs> you and your kids. You're not with the ball licking. Well, what's the matter with ball licking? There's nothing wrong with ball licking. We all know it good. Baseball. Yeah, I mean, if I could reach, I mean, you know. Hey, that's where the dinosaurs go. The dinosaurs. They have real tiny pulses. They couldn't reach. It wasn't the way it was in the meteor. It wasn't the meteor Thousand times before, 
there's a little more to it. Matter how they mold you, staple bend or fold you, how they try to tear your dreams apart. Don't you let them break your heart. Crooked road. I'm trying to flush it out a little bit more. This one, uh, this is about, if it's ever happened to you, it's pretty amazing. If you've ever been at a party, and you know some people, but not everybody, and you look across the room and there's somebody you don't know, but you know they would be a perfect match for you. And they know it too, it's pheromones, and they know it too. And it's really magical if it ever happens. It's called, Could You Be The One? From clear across the room, I heard that funny thing you said. I heard the music of your laugh, and I saw that little way you tip your head. And I thought, could you be the one? Could this be the day? Could you be the answer to all those dreams I've made? And I wish I knew the perfect words to say And God forbid I frighten you away Oh, I want to try something. Hang on. I hold you close, you never let me cry. Cause I watched you dancing on by. That dovetailed a little bit. Well, you moved across the room with style and grace. My heart, it fully stopped when I saw the moonlight hit your face. And I thought, could you be the one? Could this be the day? Could you be the answer? All those prayers I pray. And I wish I knew the perfect words to say. And God forbid I frighten you. song? One, four, five, and E. I'm sure you can handle that. <laughs> My stuff's not very complicated. This is a song about a friend of mine. And I, we, we kind of sowed our wild oats together a little bit when we were younger. Got in all kinds of trouble. And then what happened was I, had, I didn't see him for like 15 years. <laughs> Uh, 12 to 15, kind of. but <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you who was, who was at the time, but um, when I saw him again, he was a completely different person, I mean, really different. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You see, he used to drink me on 
under the table. He smoked those cigarettes and he'd tell a dirty story that he'd make the ladies sweat. And I said, John, what's going on? Well, you're standing right in front of me, but you're not the John I used to know. He said, John said, I did me some reading, book or two or three, looked up into heaven and Jesus talked to me and he said, John, look at what you're doing. You better come to accept me and stop all this drinking and smoking and screwing. And I said, John, you must be putting me on. Cause you're the last person I ever thought would give his life to the Lord. He used to drink me under the table, smoke those cigarettes, and he was pretty good with a knife, pretty quick to make a bet. And I said, John, you must be putting me on. Cause you're the last person I ever thought would give his life to God. You know, I've had other friends that turned to Christianity. They quote to me the Bible and they look perplexed at me. And I just say, whoa, you just hold on. Cause I'm sure when he's ready, gotta talk to Jim like he did Yeah, I'm sure when he's ready, Lord will speak to Jim just like he did John. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Yeah, we'll do it. We got a little time because we got a lady interrupted your set. Oh, so I'm cool? Yeah. You tell me, tell me when to leave. I'll, I'll leave. Yep, you're good. Oh, that was a part of the show. I'll be I'll be green truck. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> This is a story about a, an old guy who picks up a hitchhiker kid and helps him out a little bit. I've been on both sides of this story more than once. It's called Green Truck. When you hear that part, man. that's the old man. Part. <laughs> Let's see. Now, an old guy in a rusty truck, he pulled over, he picked me up. He took one look and he knew. All the crap that I'd been through I hadn't eaten in a day and a half My hair was stuck down and I needed a bath I had nowhere to go, nowhere to stay My last dollar had been taken away Clothes were clean but worn. The truck was beat, but it ran real good. He had that look in his eyes, you know, like he lived about a dozen lives. Well, he knew my question before I spoke, and he turned and he looked right at my soul. He said, Kid, this is what I know. This is what I know. You gotta ride on the back of a thunderclap. You gotta dance with the oldest wind. And just for fun, you better learn how to run. Now to hell and back again. Now to hell and back again. You gotta break the rules and call them all fools. You gotta fight till you can't stand. Then when you're done, you better lie on the run. Let them find your bones in the sand. Let them find your bones in the sand. Then when you're done, you leave a whisper of a song, just a taste, a little trace, and then it's gone, a taste, a little trace, and then 
is done. You gotta spiel your clock and spell your flock and sprout some wings and fly. The only crime is to stop in time or quit before you try. Or quit before you try. Then when you're done, you leave a whisper of a song. You taste the little trace and then it's gone. Taste a little trace and then it's done. Well, he dropped me off at the edge of town. I got out, he cranked the window down. He handed me an old wool coat and drove off in a dusty twirl. Well, I found a twenty dollar bill in the pocket. A pair of warm gloves and a broken locket. Inside is a picture of a pretty girl. Well, I never rode on the back of a thunderclap, but I did dance with the August wind. And looking back, he brought me home. I'd already been down to hell and back again. To hell and back again.